of VMI in the road black. Our officials tonight, Ron Gruber, Lee Cassell, and James Breeding as we are underway in Blackburg. Taking care of the ball and then obviously rebounding. We must keep Virginia Tech off the offensive glass. Inside the Miles Lewis, tough take, and he opens the scoring for VMI. Driving inside again, and all four points belong to Miles Lewis. Well, I think a lot of people are going to uh, revisit that preseason ACC ranking. Uh, they are going to be a very tough out, Virginia Tech. I think finding minutes is not going to be the issue. I think the bigger issue uh, for them is uh, can they sustain the hot shooting clip from beyond the arc? Third time's the charm. Finally, Mutz muscles at home. Wide open three. These are the ones you have to make to beat a ranked opponent on the road. Well, defensively, VMI right now is giving Virginia Tech different looks. Right now, they go to a matchup zone. Cordell Penzel puts that one in to tie it at seven. Third ranked team in the country, Villanova, put 76 on South Florida as well up in Connecticut. Back door left wide open. VMI runs right through it. Trey Bonham, an easy layup. Justin Mutz. That's a great runner in the lane from the transfer from Delaware. It's the first lead for Virginia Tech tonight. And again, a give and go, but swarmed at the net. Kev A. Aluma. That game against Villanova, Aluma was the best player on the court that night. And that shows the completion of him in terms of soccer player and then at his high school the basketball coach said you're so tall i gotta use you somehow <laughs> some way so he started playing and picked it up naturally uh, on their heels they don't know if they're going to come and double they're faking like they're going to come and double and they're doing a really good job being active in the passing lanes the vmi back in front uh, a lot of times you just have to let it be and they'll find their way and you know, certainly Keve Aluma has found his way. Mike Young was concerned about VMI's offense, in particular the spacing and then how unselfish they are passing the ball. Radford takes it to the rim off a hesitation and gains the lead back for the Hokies. He's the leading scorer, back-to-back 20-plus -back point games for Greg Parham, and yet he has zero. Somehow the Cadets hanging around, though, trailing by four after that Aluma make. People thought, okay, this is a team that might finish in the top seven, top eight, ended up 12. The difference, Mike Young told us, between this year's team and last year's team was this year's team. Not a team that's just relying on the three ball and playing with four guard lineups. Uh, they can beat you inside as well to go along with some excellent defense. Another three for Virginia Tech. It's a 12 nothing. Much needed basket there to stop the 12 0 run. After Dan Earl, head coach of the Cadets, emphasized it, they gave up 25 turnovers in the loss against Penn State. Much needed three there. Greg Parham takes it right into the lane, hangs in the air, and cashes in to close out this first half. Confusing Virginia Tech. They switched up the defenses, uh, but certainly though they're going to have to have their shooting numbers go up from beyond the arc. Jake Stevens opens the scoring in this second half. You read my mind. I was about to ask you what would you do because it is a, a tough decision that a coach needs to make. Inside to Aluma, swiped away, right back to him, and he puts it up and in. Nahima leads strong on the drive, and it drops. That high-low post, and cashing in, Keve Aluma, ACC Player of the Week this week, showing why. And swatted away on the other end, Justin Mutt says, get that out of here.
Deep three from Kerfman, and it's good. Camden Kerfman buries the three. But she asked some really tough questions that they were the right questions. <laughs> We asked Kevin about that. Do you remember the recruiting visit? And he said, oh, absolutely. I remember my grandmother coming out of the back room. And nobody on the offensive glass that time for Virginia Tech. And VMI continues to roll for any flow on their offense. And credit VMI. Once again, reading the passing lanes, the freshman Trey Bonham, a scoop and score. And VMI takes a three-point lead. Use some ball fakes. Be a little bit more patient. Hokies have not scored in the last six minutes. Hunter Couture trying to change it, and he does. A big-time three. This is Miles Lewis. Great spin. Takes it right to the rim. And the key that's back in front by two. Open three, Bonham drills it. Trey Bonham delivers a three from the corner. Edie poked it away. Here's Wabisa Beattie in transition. So dangerous, just lays it off comfortably. Rocking the rim, Justin Mutz ties this game at 45. We have not called a Luma's name that much in the second as we take a look at a beautiful cut by Beattie. Jake Stevens on the drive, bodying up Keve Aluma. Stevens fading away, left it short. All the way up ahead to Radford, count it, plus the foul, Tyrese Radford. Uh, Mike Young was in his quote saying, look, I want to pump the brakes, although it's nice for us uh, to be ranked. Calling for it on the block. Instead, created a clear out, and Naheem Aline catches in. There's Mutz. Double team handoff. Aluma puts it up and in. Beautiful interior pass by Mutz. Back to a six point lead. Lewis trying to do it himself. Barham a deep three. Can't connect. Going coast to coast, Tyrese Radford, the slam from Justin Mutz there to clean it up. Beatty, pull up pop, hits it. Will be some Beatty, clutch bucket. Barham transition three, he's got it. And just like that, VMI pulls back within four. Here's a lean. Breaks the press, crosses midcourt. Double team comes in. Over to Aluma, who attacks the rack. Kevin Aluma. He can continue to be consistent from the perimeter. Uh, he'll take a lot of pressure off the bigs of Virginia Tech. This was a tough game for Virginia Tech. And the Hokies survived 64 to 57. VMI certainly made them earn it.